mechanical bull in the saloon. <laughs> Okay. I'd rather be at sunset because. Oh, you'd rather be bungee jumping with the G-string on. El Club La Llave va a vender galletas y pasteles el jueves 13. Todavía estamos aceptando nuevos miembros. Hay un nuevo club. You two have met. Briefly. John Justice Wheeler. Used to be in construction. Came up the hard way. How nice. You remember my brother, Jerry Foote? And now here's some skating by Curtis Brown and his friend Chris. Is, uh, my executive assistant. Now I'll conclude with Beowulf and Wiglaf slay the dragon. Yeah. Beowulf prepares for battle. Battle. Trains like a true thane. his weapons carefully. Last time greeted his comrades, bold helmet bearers, and faithful friends. I would bear no sword nor weapon to battle with the evil worm. If I knew how else I could close with the fiend as I grappled with Grendel. From the worm I looked for a welling of fire, a belching of venom. And therefore I bear shield and burning. Not one foot space will I flee from the monster, the ward of the mound. 
which shall fare with us both in the fight at the wall, as fate shall allot the lord of mankind. Though bold in spirit, I make no boast as I go to fight with the flying serpent. Clad in your corselets and trappings of war, by the side of the barrow abide you to see which of us twain may best after battle survive his wounds. Not yours the adventure, nor the mission of any, save mine alone, to measure his strength with the monstrous dragon, and play the part of a villain earl. By deeds of daring I'll gain the gold, or death in battle shall break your lord. Shall break your lord. Shall break your lord. Shall break your lord. <laughs> Shall break your lord. <laughs> then the stalwart rose with his shield upon him, bold under helmet, bearing his sark under the stone cliff. He trusted the strength of his single might, not so does a coward. He who strived through many a battle, many a combat, and crashing of troops, saw there a stone arch stood by the wall, and a gushing stream broke out from the barrel, hot with fire in the flow of his surge, nor could any abide near the hoard unburned, nor endure its depths for the flame of the dragon. The, then the lord of the Geats, in the grip of the fury, Gave shout of defiance, the strong heart stormed. His voice rang out with the rage of battle resounding under the the hoary stone. Hate was aroused, and the, the horde warden knew twas voice of man. No more was there time to sue for peace. The breath of the serpent, the blast of venom, burst from the rock. The ground resounded. The lord of Geats under the barrow swung the shield, faced the dragon, the coiling foe. Was gathered to strike in deadly strife. The stalwart here had drawn his sword, his ancient heirloom of tempered edge. In the heart of each was the fear of the other. The shelter kinsman stood stout of heart under towering shield as the great worm coiled. Clad in his ward gear, waited the rush. In twisting folds, flame breathing dragon sped to its fate. I remember the time as we drank in the meat hall, when we swore to our lord who bestowed these rings, that we would repay for the war gear and armor, the hard swords and helmets, if need like this should ever befall him. He chose us out from, from all those hosts for this high adventure. Now is the day that our lord has need of the strength and courage of stalwart men. Let us haste to succor his sore distress in the terrible heat and the merciless flame. God knows I, I had rather the fire should unfold. My body and limbs with my gold friend and lord. One helmet and sword, one brierny and shield shall serve for us both in the storm of strife. Then we left Ash the deadly reek in his battle helmet. Beloved Beowulf, summon your strength. Remember the vow you made of old in your years of youth, not to allow your glory to lessen as long as you lived with resolute heart and dauntless daring. Defend your life with all force. I fight at your side. Thanks, guys. Yeah, dude. Shit, 